Hello everybody, this is Ton Ton here and since I just reviewed the Marvel Legend Iron Man Mark 7 helmet today I come back with another Mark 7 but this is from Killer Body this is the brand that made the Bumblebee helmet that I reviewed early on so here's the link if you want to check that out so let's get started with this one so before I got that touch of the Killer Body Bumblebee helmet I was really skeptical about the quality of this but after I reviewed the Bumblebee helmet and I got the news that this one is coming out I, mean, I was really excited because I was hoping for to get that high-end quality and that really nice voice control features over again but then at this here as you can see this is the box and you have the Iron Man and the Avengers logo on the back and you have this is one-on-one -on -one helmet wearable Mark 7 voice control and machine sound effects and you got a picture of Mark 7 and the box column is black and red which is really nice because it's highlight the yellow face of Iron Man and now, now let's bust this thing open and see what is inside Busting the box open and here's what we got First of all there's the manual on the top We are gonna look at that in a minute And then this is a piece of Formix Just to cover up the piece so it doesn't break or anything during transportation So here's the helmet itself covered in, in a plastic bag I wanna take it out now so you can see So this is the helmet itself and before I'm going to talk about it, I'm going to show you the manual first. So this is the manual and I quite do not understand that why this is Iron Man 3 because obviously he used Mark 7 in the first Avenger movies and during Iron Man 3 that is Mark 42. But never mind that, open it up and you can see shots of the helmet itself. This is from the uh, Avengers art book, I think it is, because they do look similar and they are all pretty nice high quality print. And open it up you can see that a bunch of illustration in Chinese yes about this point here at first I thought this is going to be an English speaking piece but then it's actually Chinese so yeah you're gonna have to go through that Chinese speaking subtitle experience again with me so you're welcome and enough with that we have these two wires to charge the batteries one is a micro USB and one is some kind of like a small adapter I'm gonna find it out later on and post it on Instagram for you to know. Now back onto the helmet itself. So here we have this is the Mark 7 helmet, and as you can see here, this is a really big piece. This is supposed to say this is a one-on-one, -on -one. and so I think this, if there's a Mark 7 armor in real life, this will be the size, and it is quite nice. You can see that this is had this had the hot rod red colors, and it is really nice with the trans um, with the, all the metallic paint on it. And I really enjoy the look. They gave us the helmet a very high-end feeling to the same as the Bumblebee one. But the difference is that with the Bumblebee one, you can see that the Bumblebee has a weathering effects like battle damage. But this one has the pure luxurious feels to it. So there are no battle damage whatsoever. This is a pure brand new look and I really enjoyed it. And speaking of the helmet itself, as you can see, there are not too many details onto the face and this is all about movie accuracy over here and up onto the gold face plating you can see the black cheek section is a clear black plastic and it's really nice up on the eye section here so the eye is actually a piece of LED light and so they left a gap for you underneath so you can see through and this is quite bright so I'm gonna show you how bright it is into the deeper review now let's get to the details of the helmet Upon closer look to the helmet itself, as you can see, the face plate is created from a very nice gold painted. But then I have a feeling this is like more like a bronze color than a gold color, you know. But the amount that it is still very movie accurate, it catch the lights really well. But one down thing is that the bottom half of the mouth here, it is that is actually decals that they're not painted. So if you are collecting this and for a long time. Please be careful because it might get scratched and in the as a result left a not that beautiful piece of the collection. And up onto the details here, as you can see, there are some details like the screws, and but it just add a, a little bit of more details onto the helmet itself. It does nothing into to measure. And I wanted to turn it to the back and show you what is really nice about this. This is the back of the helmet itself and as you can see it gives us the feelings of the layer of armors underneath the head 
and it's also a really nice bright red colors and also there's a piece that magnetized to hold this whole down piece together and to remove it you simply push the lock at this size here so i'm going to show you how to do it so just push it down like that and then the piece will come off and so this is just for wearing it a little bit more easy and it does nothing in two measures but it's still nice in details overall this is the interior of this helmet and as you can see up on the front we have a lot of mechanical details mimicking the iron man interior design a bit and that is really nice and up on that another one we got is the two speakers so this one is for receiving the voice control and that one is the speaker that speaks out the sound and everything up on there we have the switch for turning the helmet on and off and then we have two headsets over here this is for the music function and one thing that i enjoy more than the bumblebee helmet is that they actually gave us this piece of head covering so it actually feels better when you put on the helmet it doesn't have that hardened and sticking like the bumblebee one so this is much better this is really good and if you open that out you can see this is the place where it holds the batteries and the bluetooth functions of it and now let's get to the sound effect and light now i will turn it on so you can hear the sound let's begin That is some really nice Jarvis voice. And if you say Jarvis, it will catch the sound and say hello sir. Jarvis. And like I said, at first I thought this is an English speaking helmet, but it's not. I'm gonna say open up the helmet. To close the mask, we say to turn off the eye light, we say Guang bi yang deng In order to turn on the light of the eye, we say Ta hai yang deng So, as this, when the light is on, it is really hard to see because this is the where the gap of your eyes and the eye LED unit shine right through it so it is really hard to see so I would not recommend turning turn on the light when you are wearing it so I only recommend like turn on the light when you display it that looks really nice so as the same as the Bumblebee helmet you cannot flip on the mask when you turn it on but rather you can do it when you turn it off so this is off now so I'm going to show you how to turn. just simply flip it on like that very smoothly so this is the Marvel Legend Mark 7 versus the Killer Body Mark 7 and generally speaking they're not that different at all because this is still the same design but if there's any significant difference i'm gonna say it's the color of the face plate because as you can see for the killer body one it get the paint job give us the feeling of a metallic which is like kind of gloss finish but compared to the marvel legend this is the feeling of a, of a plastic product but then also the color scheme it gives me the feeling of a mark 42 more than a mark 7 helmet because it is the color the pale yellow color of mark 42 but i'm going to spin them around so you can see that if there are any difference at all as you can see here the only difference is the paint job so one is more of a high-end product and the other one is just a, a normal version of the official and one more difference is that about the lining of the helmet as you can see the lining on the Hasbro product is quite big and they're not painted or lined up in any way but in the killer body it is lined it and they they do they did have the black panel light onto it the, so as you can see it is more detailed but then again this is a very easy fix so if you has the Marlboro the uh, Hasbro version you can easily line out it just with a black normal panel light pen that is really easy now i'm gonna begin testing its bluetooth function so you can see so to turn it on i'm gonna flip it up this is about the head part and i in my opinion this is worse than the bumblebee because now you have to remove the head part in order to activate the bluetooth function 
So this is, they have some kind of like sticking material in order to stick the head part. So I want to remove it all the way through so it is easier to access the Bluetooth. So that is the Bluetooth. So this is the KBMV Bluetooth. This is already connected and I'm, I'm going to try, try to play something. Show yourself, sir. So a lot of you have seen the killer body and may ask the question that why the sound on here is much weaker. So because the reason is for the killer body version, it is a speaker, but then here it is rather a, a headphone. So it will, of course it has to decrease the sound level so it doesn't harm the ears. And that is the sole reason why. So in order to get the sound a little bit better, I'm gonna place my micro onto the earphones. The end of my review today. I hope you enjoyed this video because again, I know this. I already reviewed an Iron Man helmet before, but this is another high-end product that I want to introduce into you guys. And unlike with the Bombi helmet, you can still order this at the official website of Killer Body. So, what do you think of this? So, give me a thought in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Instagram. And that could be it for today. Ta ta now. Hãy subscribe